for many, many years. Uh, he is known to you as the co-founder of a very wonderful ice cream company, Ben and Cherries. But Ben is more than just Ben and Jerry's. He has shown that you can be an entrepreneur, a corporate citizen that takes care of what is right environmentally, what is respectful agriculturally, and, and what is wonderful in terms of being a company where workers enjoy their work, are respected, and they are incredibly successful. So I, without further ado, let me introduce Ben Cohen, our co-chair. He is also co-chair of the Bernie 2020 campaign. Hello, San Jose. You are looking good. You are looking very good today. Thank you so much for coming out. Before Bernie, I used to be the most famous guy from Vermont. <laughs> so it is with pride and joy that I give up that mantle to Bernie. You know, ice cream is good, but a president of the United States who truly believes in justice in all its flavors, that is euphoric! today because I've been Bernie's constituent for 40 years and I can tell you that this guy is the real deal. Bernie has inspired me, inspired me because I've seen him in action. You can believe what he says, but more than that, he does what he says. Yes, he has a vision but he also has tenacity. Bernie makes things happen that people thought could never happen. I've watched him all these years, and I finally figured out what makes him tick. It's love and caring. And he shows that love and caring in the work that he does. Bernie is not a politician in the usual sense of the word. He is a fighter for justice, economic, social, racial, and environmental. And he uses politics as a means to that end. You know, in 1981, when Bernie was first elected mayor of my city, I saw him transform it from a city that was being run for the benefit of business interests and instead is now run for the benefit of regular everyday people and those who are oppressed. He fought hard to do it. The old guard was trying to stop him every step of the way. He persevered and he won and he transformed the city of Burlington into a model of a great quality of life. His first act as mayor was to shut down plans to privatize the shore of Lake Champlain with expensive condominiums, and he instead he turned the land into a park that was open to everybody. When he became my congressman, he personally took busloads of women who are struggling with, with breast cancer over the border into Canada where they could buy the prescription drugs they needed for one-tenth the price of what they were forced to pay here in the U.S. He said a president and congressman after congressman did the same thing and take their busloads over. He voted against NAFTA before being against NAFTA was cool. He voted against going to war in Iraq twice. Then, in 2007, he defeated the richest man in Vermont and became my senator. As senator, he worked
worked with conservatives to force the first ever audit of the Federal Reserve Bank that revealed numerous conflicts of interest and trillions of dollars in ultra-low interest loans to Wall Street banks. Then, the Republicans were trying to push through legislation that would have cut Social Security benefits and benefits to veterans. Bernie led the successful opposition to that. And next week, Bernie will be making a demand of the Walmart Board of Directors to bring the minimum wage up to $15 an hour. Now Bernie is working in the Senate, leading the charge against going to war in Iran. Bernie understands that wars do not solve problems, they create more problems. All in all, Bernie's been in Congress and the Senate for 30 years. And it's that experience in the trenches, in the cesspool of what is our political system today, that will enable him, with the help of all of us, to finally flush the crap down the drain. Yeah. You know, when Bernie ran for president the first time and said that he wouldn't take any big money donations, I thought it was a mistake that he would never be able to run enough money to mount a credible campaign. And then I came to understand what was going through his mind. He realized that if he couldn't put together an army of, of millions of people that were willing to donate small amounts of money, that once he got elected, he wouldn't have that army of people that he needs to push through the legislation that he wants to make happen. What do I think about Bernie, the man? Well, he's always been the same. He never wavers. He has a clear vision for how to make America kind again. He's not a fancy guy. He's pretty down home, no airs. And I like his hairstyle. That never changes either. Bernie doesn't go with the trends, he sets the trends. Small donor funded campaigns, universal health care, free public colleges and universities. Just look at all the other candidates that are following him. Look, this campaign, this year, is an historic opportunity. Finally, we have a chance to elect a president who is not selected by insider power brokers, but for the first time in my life, a true candidate of the people. Finally, a candidate who instead of being financed by Wall Street, the pharmaceutical companies, and the chemical industry, is ready to go to bat for us against them to rein them in. I know the most important thing is defeating Trump. That's the way I feel. That's the way Bernie feels. That's the way I'm sure we all feel. And polls have shown consistently time after time, that if nominated, Bernie beats Trump. Yeah. Bernie beats Trump! 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 Right! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you for your participation! So, we have a choice to vote in the primary for Bernie, who will beat Trump, and 
and transform a rigged system or vote for one of the other guys or girls and get more of the same old, same old. And when he's elected and I become the minister of ice cream, I promise a pint in every freezer, a 